Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to configure dynamic routing, a step-by-step -step tutorial. First of all, create one topology with two routers, two switches and four PCs. Now, assign the IP address to all the PCs as per the given label. Next task is assign the IP address to the router interface. Now check the interface. So here both the routers are connected with the fast Ethernet 00 interfaces. So same way check the other interface of the router. It is FA01 which is connected with switch. Same way check into the router 1. Now router 1 other interface is FA01 which is connected with the switch. Now click on the router. Go to the config. Click on the fast Ethernet 00. The IP address is 192.168.1.2. Now port status is on. Now click on the fast Ethernet 01. The IP address is 192.168.2.3. Again port status is on. So now same way configure the router 1. Next task is check the connectivity between all the PCs. So take one simple PDU, click on the source and PC1 is the destination. Now you can check here it is successfully transferred. Now again take one simple PDU, PC0 is the source and PC2 is the destination. So it is failed. Now same way take another simple PDU, PC1 is the source and PC3 is the destination. Again it is failed. So now we can say PC0 and PC1 are in the same network and PC2 and PC3 are in the different network. If I want to communicate with the different network PCs, I have to configure a routing. So first of all, what is routing? Routing is a process of selecting a path to transfer the data from source to destination. So there are two types of routing. One is the static and second one is the dynamic. Here I am going to configure dynamic routing on both the routers. So first of all, what is dynamic routing? Dynamic routing uses uh, algorithms to determine the best path. Examples of the dynamic routing are RIP, OSPF and EIGRP. Let's configure dynamic routing on both the routers. So first of all, click on the router 0. Go to the config. Click on the RIP. RIP stands for Routing Information Protocol. It is one kind of dynamic routing algorithm. Here router 0 is connected with 1.0 and 2.0 network. So here I am adding both the network address. So first of all I have add 192.168.1.0 then click on the add button. So it is added over here. Now add the next network address it is 192.168.2.0 and add in the list. So now both the network address are added in the list. Now go to the setting and click on the save button. 
to save these changes in the startup configuration of router. Now same way configure the router 1. So now my both the routers are configured. Let's check the connectivity of PC2 and PC3 from PC0. Here I am getting response from both the PC, PC2 and PC3. Let's check the connectivity of PC0 and PC1 from PC2. Again I am getting the response from the PC0 and PC1. Now I can say my dynamic routing configuration work properly because I can access PCs from the different network. If you like this video please hit the like button and share with others. Subscribe my channel Chirag Baloria. Thank you for watching this video.